girl. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, my God, that's so great. <laughs> oh, gosh. Are you sure, you guys? Yes, I'm sure. We saw the ultrasound, and there was nothing there. <laughs> there's nothing there. Oh, my God. There's a granddaughter in Hey, there. congratulations. Thank you so much. Can you imagine all the clothes, and we can just spoil her rotten, and I can teach her karate? Hey, you can never start too young, you know. Apparently, you can't be a grandparent too young, either. Are you, do you have grandchildren? It's the best adventure life has to offer, bar none. Oh, exactly. I am going to love being a grandmother to this little girl more than anything I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Apart from you, of course. Oh, I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Mom. Well done. Well, you know, he helped a little bit. I guess. So, though. Mm. You know, I've got to tell you something. I, I, I kind of had a feeling I was going to be a girl. I did, too. Did you? I did. <clears throat> I mean, not that I wouldn't have been thrilled to have a boy, but I knew it was a little girl on there. I felt the same way about you. I knew you were a little daughter in there. I guess we had a connection even then. Yeah. You're going to have a connection with her, too. I bet she's going to be as special as you are. <laughs> yeah, she will. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're not one of those guys who wanted a boy, you know? Well, actually, I did want a boy for the simple reason that I was a boy so I could, you know, figure out how to be a father to a boy. I would basically just do what my father didn't. But, uh... A girl? He's a little nervous. Very nervous. I'm having a really hard time trying to figure out how to be a father to a girl, and it's it's scaring the hell out of me. You know, it's happened to me, so I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. There's a certain karmic justice when a former ladies' man, former, discovers that he's going to be the father of a little girl. Oh, I know. It is just so perfect, really, yeah, you isn't know, it? Over, overnight, I mean, women flip from being worthy only of seduction to... Just another notch on the stethoscope, Courtney Patrick. To sweet little princesses oh. in your fairy tale land who must be protected <gasps> at all costs. Cute. Oh, yeah, okay, so cute. Yeah. <laughs> have, have, have a good time. Well, every lame pickup line I've ever said is running through my mind. Really? What was the lamest? Oh, trust uh -huh. me, honey, you don't want to know. No, no, no that's I want to know. I'm not going to sit here and tell you my favorite Yes, point. I want to hear. Look, bated breath right now. I yeah. need to hear them. No, they were all ears. unique. They were, no, it's oh. not going to happen. Oh, so what was it like? Something like, um, hey, what shall I call you in the morning? Or like, just nudge you. <laughs> no? Nice one. Or what about the, um, all right, you must be exhausted because you've been running through my mind all night. Oh, please, give me a little credit. <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Really, we want okay, to hear well, them. Okay, well, first of all, they were never that fancy. I would usually just lean over and say, I'm going to be a doctor. Oh, no. That face? It's the only face I have. Did it work? They all worked. Oh, that's what makes me sick, you see. I mean, women, some women are just so, they give us a bad name. Well, it didn't really matter what you were saying or what the line was. They all meant, you know, do you want to hang out? But you're right. It makes me sick, too. And if any guy says that to my little girl, I'm throwing him off the roof of the hospital. <laughs> so that's why I love him. I just thought Dr. Hunter was being a pig. That's all. Yeah, sexism can be pretty ugly sometimes. And it was actually uh, Layla that warned me that your mom might be jumping to conclusions. Really? Yeah. I should thank her then. Yeah. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see you later. I've never been kissed like that. Nicholas was upset, but passionate. We just... It, it was amazing. And then... He yelled at me and asked me to leave, so I did. Hmm. I think I've read about this somewhere. I think it's Jane Eyre, or was it Wuthering Heights? Haha, uh -huh, very funny. You weren't there. You didn't get your lips kissed off. Oh lips kissed off? Seriously. <laughs> it was the most incredible thing that's ever happened to me. But Nicholas assured me that it would never happen again.